Hello, my lovelies. What are we doing here today? So, uh, you've seen this. Uh, I asked a question. Nobody seemed to care what the back braid was, um, except for Christy, who really wanted to do the four strand. So we're calling this hairstyle the Christy. Uh, also because, like, I went through various flower names and, uh, I... There just aren't a lot that look like this. We've already used the chrysanthemum. And uh, it doesn't really look like a daisy. It sort of looks like it's, anyways, when in doubt, I go with lady names. Uh, so, hey Christy, hey. <laughs> Christy's also uh, one of my very best braiders. So uh, since this has three braids, uh, we're calling it the Christy and I hope she approves. Any hoodles. So what I'm gonna do is section out my front um, where your bangs would be but you know if you don't have bangs it doesn't matter you just section out this little section in the front um, I'm gonna section it out and keep it separate from the rest uh, and the rest we are going to put in a ponytail um, so let me get this out of here let me get my ponytail up and then I'll be back and we'll start with the breedy goodness. All right, we're ponied. Ponied. Da -da. Uh, next, we're gonna do our little poof. Uh, I like poof. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna pretend to don't. I just do. Um, especially like I like having my bangs. Um, but sometimes in the summer, uh, just with the humidity and everything, I prefer to have them back up off my face because of, you know, I sweat, etc. So, um, but uh, when all your hair is back, it tends, I look bald. You may not, it depends on your hairline. Uh, <laughs> but with my hairline, I definitely look bald and I'm having weirdness there, give me just a sec. Um, so I like to do the poof to give myself a little bit of height, not that I really need extra height, but um, just some interest from the front uh, so all the beautiful isn't happening in the back. And my poof doesn't, my hair is really, I washed my hair this morning, you guys, which you should never do. When you're trying to do hair, you should always at least have second day hair. <laughs> but uh, I was just, I wasn't feeling super awesome yesterday. So it, uh, I just went to bed instead of washing my hair. Okay, so I'm going to bobby pin my poof up. Um, I'm using little bobbies. I'm going to pin them in an X pattern. Um, not the mini bobbies, just regular, regular size bobbies. Because uh, bobby pins work best for the poof portion, for me anyway. Um, there we go. Keep the poof. Uh, for this, we're going to rope braid. Um, you don't technically have to rope braid, uh, mind you. You can do whatever braid you'd like. Um, but uh, when it comes to making uh, flowers, uh, I do like rope braids best or variations of rope braids. Uh, when I talked to you guys on Monday, I, what I had done was taken one of these, rope braided it, and then rope braided it to the other. Um, and that looked really pretty. I did all of the braids like this. But uh, this one, I'm just going to do a straight up rope. Um, so I will be back with you. Uh, yeah, I'm going to rope braid this, I'm going to wind it up into a flower, and then I'm going to pin it so that it covers my bobby pins, because we try to hide the works as best we can. So, let me get that step done, and then we'll do the next step, which is another rope braid. But, uh, I'll show you how we do that next. Okay, back in this. Alrighty, number one is done. Dee 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 pin down uh, to pin these. I usually use one of my Amish hair pins, which I need one just a tiny little bit shorter. I might have to order me some in some various sizes uh, because this one is just, if you look, it is just, my flower's just the right size to use one. But like if I use one of the longer ones, it would be too big and it would stick out. So I need to get some shorter ones. Um, any hoodles, I use that, and then I do have some really 
flimsy crappity U pins, little stubby ones that I just kind of used to tack it down the rest of the way. They're the same color as my hair though, so you can't see those. Any hoodles. Next, we're gonna do another rope braid. Now, this one, we're gonna take from the underneath of our ponytail. Um, it depends how large you would like your second flower to be and or how thick you want your braid hanging down to be. So for mine, what works, and luckily I'm color coded, is I'm gonna try and take most of the pink from underneath. Uh, I wouldn't say it's even a third of my hair um, that I'm taking, uh, a little less than a third probably of, uh, here, let me separate out. So this is what I'm gonna make the next rope out of. Um, it's, it's slightly more than what I took out here. So the flower should be slightly larger than this one. Um, or it would be, except that I'm gonna have to wrap um, around the ponytail holder. So that's why I, it should end up being almost the same uh, when it evens out. And then, you know, this is the rest. So you see, it's not, it's not quite a third basically. So um, there is a little pink under there though, but that's good. So we have some hanging down. So this I'm going to rope braid and I'm going to rope braid on this side of my head because we're going to wrap around this way. So it'll, it just makes sense. <laughs> uh, when we go to do our, our wrap and our final decorations, etc., cetera, um, that works in our favor because it'll cover up any sort of clumsiness you may or may not do. Uh, one other thing, when you're doing your rope braids, all of these rope braids, uh, they all go the same direction. It makes it easier on you for when you do your rolling and all that so you don't have to like change the direction of your roll or anything like that. Um, so I just make them all go. I make them all the same. I make them all go the same direction, basically. All right, so let me finish this one up and then uh, I'll show you I'll actually show you how we're going to put the flower and do our wrap and all the pitting and stuff for the second one. So once again, see you in Alrighty. a Alrighty, so we have our rope braid. I did go ahead and tie it off the clear hair tie, but I will be removing that when we go to assemble our flower. This one I didn't put a clear hair tie on because you can see the hair tie in the middle. Um, now if you have dark hair and dark hair bands, you don't have to worry about it. They don't really show up, but even the clear hair ties, uh, they show up in my hair. so. Any hoodles. Okay, so this this is how we're gonna do our, our, our wrapping before we even braid. We're just gonna go ahead and get this out of the way. So um, we made it over here on the right, so we're gonna take it left, go around, um, and hopefully we will be able to hide our hair tie. So I'm gonna pin it. So make a full turn around till it's back here on the left. I'm going to get my mirror and make sure I cover my hair tie and pin it this time. Um, <laughs> make sure my hair tie is mostly covered. Of course, it is very easy if you have hair ties. The same color as your hair. This one's pretty close, so I kind of lucked out. I'm just going to put one single bobby pin right here. to, uh, And then I'm going to slide the pin behind the hair tie. Make sure I didn't get too much hair so it'll stay. Um, and then that'll just anchor it so it won't slide around and I've got it. Poke it into the hair tie, come on. Even I am not infallible, there we go. So then my braid won't slide down. Um, yay, and now we're gonna make a flower with this one. So take off the clear hair tie, ding, ding, ding. So, yeah, even with, with, the, with the clear hair tie, uh, so I usually go up like twice, we'll go up a third time, I'm gonna pop this off my finger, right? And here is a, an FYI I learned. Um, roll it up a little ways, right? Because sometimes it's hard to keep these in a good roll. Now, these tiny, 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 there's even some hair stuck to it. Bobbies. Okay, this is what I do. Hopefully, you'll be able to see what I'm doing. 
I just sort of run it through the center to keep the stability of the beginning of this. Um, I'm going to put it on the underneath side and I'll flip it over and show you. Right? You see? So now it kind of all stays together. It just helps so the center doesn't spring out on you when you're making these. Um, there's a tip for me to you. So, yeah, I'm just going to roll, 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 roll. How many? Should that be enough? Now, you'll see it's on the outside, but don't worry, because I'm going to actually take that out. What? I'll show you. So let me get my flowers situated where I want it. Because I like it to touch the other one. Yeah, that looks good. All right. So now that my flower is all down, I'm actually going to pop out that tiny um, bobby pin that I put in it so it won't show. Uh, if you do a good job and pin it on the bottom, you're usually fine. But... Uh, Rather than even have to mess with that, I just pop it back out. So, I'm going to use this U-pin, but I'm going to poke it. I'm going to pin from the back, right? And you just kind of weave it up and down through, and then this way, and then you have this bun in case the ends pop out. Um, so I'm going to use a couple of those. So those are done. Yay, our flowers portion of our hairstyle is done. Now all we have to do is four strand braid. So there are quite a few ways you can do a four strand braid. There's, you know, there you can braid any braid you want to braid. Um, I am going to do one version. I can't remember which version this is. I do know it's not a box because I have yet to learn how to four strand box braid. Uh, and this one doesn't twist. So we're going to do this one. I do a four strand twist as well. So uh, that's almost even, but not quite. So you want two even strands to begin with, right? And then we got to separate those into two more on each side. So we have four strands. Oh my God. I'm so sorry, you guys. Sometimes I over explain uh, and I can't help myself. <laughs> My apologies. Um, I just want to be as specific as possible. So let's do it this way. Right hand, okay, we're going to go over strand, under strand, and then we'll go over the last strand. But as we go over the last strand, that becomes the strand we're working with. So it would be under, and then it goes over the next strand, and then under. And as it goes under, we switch to the next strand, which would be an over, under, over, switch, over, under, switch. So that is now an over to an under to an over. We switch. That is now an under to an over to an under switch so you see how we're, we're doing this it's sort of like a weave um it's not sort of like it is a weave now hopefully you guys can see what we're doing i need to flip over my shoulder now and now everybody goes oh no this is where it gets super confusing no it doesn't just take it out you can see where you are if you look like this strand just came behind so now it has to go in front, and then it'll go like this. And then that one now gets to go behind. And then, can you guys see? Um, this is actually one of the easier ones because uh, the way it's done, the hair kind of, you can tell where it wants to go next. Um, it is, of course, much easier once you can see. Hopefully I'm back far enough. Um, but it's all just like a, like an over under deal. Um, four strand is always harder cause you, you know, you can't really go one, two, three because you've got to switch them back and forth and 
then you say like four becomes one and oh it's just so confusing but hopefully showing you hopefully you were able to see what was going on <laughs> uh this is why i leave explaining how braids work to siobhan more than myself um i can do them but it doesn't necessarily mean that i'm the best at explaining how to do them <laughs> but hopefully you got this one this one's easy this is a real easy uh four strand i mean it is it's super easy um Hopefully you won't have any problems, but if you don't want to mess with the four strand, then don't do the four strand. Just do an English braid if you want, or you can do a rope braid, or you can do a uh, uh, rope braid, rope braid. You can do a hauser if you want. That is looks like a four strand box braid, but is easy. Um, yeah, you do, you do whatever braid you want to do, basically is what I will always tell you. Um, and if you are one of my girls who laments that their hair is too thin and once they got these flowers done, they wouldn't have much left to braid, um, put a paranda in it um, and braid with your paranda. It'll be all sorts of colors. That'll be pretty. Um, never, never forget that uh, we know how to make parandas around here so it's totally okay all right I'm gonna tie off the end um, now the only problem with this particular four strand braid is that you do get a bit of a tail but like I always tell you guys it is good uh, when you do braids to switch up where you put your hair tie so sometimes it is nice to leave a longer tail so the ends aren't getting quite as much work so you see we've got a good long tail and there we go, yay! It's fancy, it takes a little bit of time, but it doesn't take too long. The braiding, as always, is what takes forever. But um, it's good, and it's not uncomfortable. Um, you guys know I don't wear ponies a lot, like free swinging, even, you know, braided ponies, as this is. I don't wear them. Uh, for super long periods of time because all of your hair concentrated in a ponytail will make your head sore after a while. However, this one didn't and I think the reason is because of these because we separated out a third of our hair. These end up equaling over a third of our hair and since we have two buns, um, I mean even though this one started as part of the ponytail since it wraps around and forms its own bun it's not hanging from that ponytail holder do you know what I mean so yeah basically I wore this all day and I did not get a scalp ache so this may be a way that we can you know wear our long swinging ponies again um, without the scalp ache that we get maybe we just need to make some decorative buns and fancy it up a little bit so that there's not quite as much weight on that ponytail holder. So uh, that was a happy accident. Extra disbursement. Uh, there it is. This is the Christy. Uh, I apologize if it did not seem quite so up to date. Um, it is an actual high pain day, but I think I'm doing pretty good because I don't think you can tell. But after uh, we're all done, I'm going to go and edit and put this up and uh, It'll be hilarious because you're going to get the exact same picture on Instagram that you already got. But that's okay. I'm hoping some of you guys try it. Um, and put it under the hashtag Torn's Lovelies tag so I can see um, what y'all did. Because uh, I think this one is nice. It doesn't require a ton of hair. Um, it will be fun to see the various sizes of the flowers that we get from all our different lengths and hair types. Um, yeah, I think it'll be super fun. So, uh, any hoodles, I will see you all tomorrow with Skyrim. And for those of you that don't do the Skyrim, I'll see you on Friday when we talk about S&D missions. Search and destroy. All right. Um, until then, have a great day. I love you guys. Bye.